Hi, good afternoon. My name is Abimbola Owade. I'm making Zoom Primavera 6 version 8.3 just to show some uh, insight into some logic error you might have. Basically, after the completion of your development of your schedule, you will want to find possibly maybe there's no logical error. And um from my findings i realized that uh, the two commonest error are the looping error and the and the dangling task so the dang i mean the looping task when you take a look that you can easily see that anyway physically you can see that on the screen that um, definitely um your task or your schedule is uh, having a circular looping problem so and again, even when you take a look at it, a number of uh, software packages can easily detect that. So that doesn't really like um, pose much of a problem because uh, it can easily be detected out by a lot of uh, software packages. The major drawback of the looping is that uh, the you just realize that uh, it forms a kind of a uh, continuous looping then the project goes on on and on and on and on so without a finishing hand so from experience anyway the dangling tax is another a i mean major area which uh, you need to look into because definitely you don't want to leave any task uh, open-handed so as a result of that you will want to create maybe a feature to say yeah um there's none of your task that is left uh, open-handed or maybe left uh, dangling so to really create um, a feature for a dangling task so what you just need to do is just so that i can go on feature then now uh, you could say new then you could say so on the feature name here you see dangling task Well, I'm just gonna put my initial anyway. So now you say where any of the following. So you now had again. So you now look and say okay. Say for instance, if your predecessor, if you type say p predecessor equals, then you leave it blank. Then you had again or if your successor i mean the succeeding task uh, which i'm gonna show now equals you need to leave it blank again so by so doing the package i mean the software i mean the feature we go on to looking for some tasks that are without that are not properly linked so with that you can easily work on them and make them link up together so now i'm just gonna say okay so i say apply so as you can really see in this schedule what really you can have is majorly some of those um, the work breakdown structures which is nothing really wrong with them anyway then um, some of the milestones i think the milestone is the only one that you could leave possibly open-ended because definitely when you have a project you could have a start and definitely finish so so where's the project coming from so definitely it could be open-ended it could it could be left open-ended so that explains them um, how to really make use of your um, dangling task and possibly maybe if you want to take up the dangling task again when you have really assured you are sure that um there's none of your tags that has been left dangling or open-ended then what you need to do is just to go back to filter then you take it off and you have your schedule back again thank you very much if you have any question you could leave a message for me then i will get back to you thank you very much